Dr. Gelrud, once someone has an attack of acute pancreatitis, for whatever reason, how likely is it that they're going to have another attack? And what can we do to help prevent patients from having another attack of pancreatitis? That's a very good question because when you have a patient coming in with an acute episode of pancreatitis, I will, as we said before, 80% of the times it's going to be a stone that may have triggered the pancreatitis or it may be a patient that it's abusing alcohol with some other underlying predisposition. But when you have a patient coming in with pancreatitis, you want to look for treatable conditions. Why? You want to make sure that they had one episode and never again. So we tend to look for things as stones, we get a good history, we get lab work when they come to the emergency department, you know, we tend to look for the calcium, make sure it's not very high levels, we tend to look for the thyroid hormone, triacylglycerides, it's something that for some reason we're starting to see more and more and more. So all of the conditions that we can pinpoint the reason why and then treat it that's what we want to do to make sure that it doesn't happen again. If we see a gallbladder with stones and the patient comes in to the hospital with pancreatitis, I want to make sure that the patient goes home, not only comfortable without pancreatitis, but also without a gallbladder. And I think this is something that we can do in a high percentage of patients, not all of them, but in the majority. So that's how we prevent another episode of pancreatitis when they come in uh, with this diagnosis. Yeah, I think that's really important because no one really knows how many patients with acute pancreatitis, one episode will get another attack, but it's a sizable percentage. So it's something that I tell my patients, we really need to find out why this happened because we really don't want to have to go through this again, and, and they agree. So very important to be aggressive while the patient's still in the hospital to try to figure out why this happened to them. You know, and, and, and the point also of, of being very open with a patient and letting them know we did everything that we could to find a reason why you have the pancreatitis, but unfortunately, we can't find one. Mm -hmm. You know, frequently it may be a virus, it may be a predisposition of a viral infection or so, but this idiopathic group, meaning we don't know why you got it, you know, it's important to recognize it and let the patients know. Most importantly, if you have an episode of pancreatitis again, come back immediately so we can try to figure out some other things that we don't frequently see, but you may still have. And to your point as well about preventing another attack of pancreatitis, getting back to some of the issues that we've discussed previously, very important to maintain a healthy lifestyle, no matter what the cost. So stopping smoking, avoiding alcohol, really following a healthy, low-fat diet. These are all things that may not have for example, triggered the pancreatitis, but certainly think we think can help prevent future attacks.